I'm from Sacramento. I went to Valley High School in South Sac. You know, for me, that was a community that greatly shaped who I am and what I decided to do. It was a community where I recognized where talent was evenly distributed, but opportunity wasn't. I was fortunate enough to be able to go to college, one of the few in my class to be able to do so. Graduated with the support of some phenomenal adult mentors and others in my life that truly poured in. Um, you know, but I recognized that, right, that my life story was an outlier. I, I had a friend who was shot and killed when I was 17, a freshman in college. That was an impactful moment, which, which launched me on a career to public service. And after college, I worked in the state legislature for six years as a senior advisor. And for the past 10 years, I've been the CEO and co-founder of Improve Your Tomorrow. Look at the, the problems and challenges across District 3. They aren't only unique to my community, but across Sacramento. Homelessness and affordability are the number one issue like facing my district. Number two is safety within our community. Number three, when we look at investing in young people and the systemic challenges that come from it. Homelessness and affordability is the greatest challenges we have right now within the city and county. And we look at the, the, the city and county's role and the role that they should play and the speed at which they should move, it doesn't happen. Right now across the city and county, we have roughly 113 different services, 63 different entry points. So you can imagine if you have 63 different chefs in the kitchen that are trying to solve homelessness, you will rarely get a great meal. So I think we have to drastically improve our coordinated care model, which moves folks to services and housing from the streets. Next thing we have to do is drastically expand mental health and substance abuse services. COVID has ravaged our community, it has ravaged those who are most vulnerable. Most vulnerable. If we don't scale those services, we do a disservice. The last one is around affordability. Rents have risen, you know, roughly 20% in the past year. We're not building enough homes, and we especially do not have enough affordable home ownership opportunities for families. My, my, my life story is a story of persistence, resilience, but also service. That's a part of the community which I came from. I was raised by a single dad. My mom left early on. Dad's black, mom's white. My dad raised my siblings and I largely by himself. It was through his example of service where I recognized the importance of leadership, the importance of leadership and putting your own needs second to those of your community. I've spent my entire professional career dedicated to improving opportunities for communities that have been left behind. I'm a co-founder and CEO of an education nonprofit called Improve Your Tomorrow that works to close the college opportunity gap for young men of color. We started with 17 young people nine years ago. Now we serve 3,000 across five counties, and we have effectively closed the college opportunity gap for young men of color. For six years, I served as a senior advisor in the state legislature, helping to craft progressive public policies that help to improve, again, the life outcomes of communities that have been left behind. And most important for me, in regards to this race, you know, I am invested in the district. My kids go to school in South Atonis. I own a home uh, within the district. I work within the district. Our statewide headquarters is right off of Northgate. So there's a commitment to the community that is unparalleled in my race.